Hey everybody, it's Jordan here from Closet Tools, and I'm super excited to get a new feature out to you called Full Automation. Uh, with this feature, you're able to share your closet, share valid items to, to active parties, follow new closets, share fresh closets, do community follows, do community shares, automatically relist anything that you would want to do in your, you can do automatically with Closet Tools without touching anybody's. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how that works. Some of the changes that I made that might be a little bit confusing and slightly different from how you normally would have used closet tools. And hopefully this clears some things up and it gets you up and running and making a lot more sales. I know with my testing, I've seen closets getting close to a thousand followers every single day and making more sales every week without touching anything, without touching any buttons. You don't have to start and stop anything. It automatically solves all the captures. It automatically does everything for you. And I'm super excited to get it out to you. So right now I'm on a closet page and what I'll show you is some of the changes uh, that have been made in the tool. And what we're going to do is we're going to head over to the red circle tab, which is the live tab. And you'll see it looks a little bit different. And what used to be here was sending offers to likers returning shares and returning follows. And that's all fine. The issue with the returning shares and returning follows is that if you returned enough shares and if you returned enough follows, eventually you would run into a point where Poshmark would require you to self captcha. And depending on the page that you're on, Closet Tools wasn't able to solve a captcha for that function. So if you're in your closet page, um, there's no follow button for Closet Tools to press to be able to bring up a CAPTCHA and then solve the CAPTCHA. So I have removed those automations from any page that is not the main feed. So now the only automation that works on any page is offering to likers. So if I go here and I hit enable automation, you'll see an automation feed pop up. And this will uh, populate anytime there's any kind of action that happens. Uh, whether it's offering to likers or, you know, sharing or anything like that. In the closet page, all it's going to be is offer to likers. And right now I'm not getting any likes, so I don't have any events. And with that, I'm going to actually go over to the main feed because what you'll see here, it says other automations only work in the main feed. And if you remember earlier in the video, I told you that uh, it'll automatically share your items, share to parties and all that stuff uh, automatically. So we're going to hit this button. Actually, I'm just going to click up here and uh, we're going to get to the main feed and we're going to check out the automation tab. And right away, you see that it's going to do a self share because that is enabled. So I kind of work down from the top of the automation tab and uh, just kind of tell you how everything works. So right here, you see the enable automation. So if I click that, like it turns everything off. So this is off. So if I enable that, it turns it on and everything's up and running. You can also show the automation feed. Uh, if you want to get it out of the way, you can turn it off. Next is the analytics section. So this shows you how many shares, how many follows, and how many offers you've done using automation. And you can see there in the feed, this green check mark shared. That means that I shared that item and you can see that I have one share here. So that's what this tells you. And then in parentheses, is your estimated shares and your estimated follows. So this goes through all of the different automation sections and it tallies up how many estimated shares and how many estimated follows you're going to be doing with automation so that you don't go over. I don't recommend going over 8,000 shares within 24 hours or 8,000 follows within 24 hours. Uh, so this helps you stay within your limits and not go overboard. The next section is the time window. So. This allows you to specify when you want automations to run. Every automation has a runtime section and you can either have it be always on, meaning it just runs for 24 hours, or you can look at the time window and it'll only run during that time window. And this is useful, like, you know, if you want to optimize your activity for like when people are awake in the United States or something like that. Uh, some people like to do things all day, all night, and that's fine. Uh, some people like to do things in very restricted windows, and this allows you to do that. And so every individual automation has the ability to do 24 hours of the time window, and you can change this time. You can, you know, set it to 8 a.m. You know, you can, yeah, you can change the time. So, yeah. So the first automation is closet sharing. And I think this is the most uh, crucial automation because what this does is it means that you don't have to go to your closet page anymore to share your items with closet tools. Closet Tools can share your closet items automatically 
from the main feed without you touching anything. All you have to do is specify how many shares you want to do and make sure that it's enabled. So if you hit make sure this items or this uh, option is selected, then it's going to be starting to do uh, self shares and you're good to go. It's just going to keep running. And the other option that you have in this section is to be able to relist old items. And what this does is any item that's more than 61 days old, It'll actually copy the listing, delete the old listing, and then update the title so that it's you know a brand new item. And the 61 days is important because if it's greater than 61 days old, then when you copy the listing, it actually shows up as a new listing, and you know uh, people get notified and you show up in the main feed as a new listing. And so that's super useful if you have that selected. And Closet Tools will automatically check to see if your item is old. If it is old, it'll relist it. And then it'll just continue on sharing your items. Uh, the other thing that's useful is if you're listing new items on your phone or something, Closet Tools will pick up those new items. So you don't have to like restart sharing or anything like that. It'll automatically pick up those new items and it'll just keep on sharing. It'll keep sharing your items and it's total game changer. The next section is party self-sharing. And this is also super useful because what it does is it checks to see if there's a party. And when there's an active party, it'll go through your closet and check to see if you have any valid items to share to the party. And then it'll share those items to the party. And then at the 10 p.m. party, it'll share all of your items to the party. And it's totally hands-free. You don't have to touch anything. It checks every party and sees if you have any valid items. And it just shares it to the party and you're good to go. Uh, so once again, super useful. You don't have to touch anything. It just runs. The next is offer to likers. And this is something that you're probably familiar with if you've already been using closet tools this will automatically send offers to new likers and you can specify how long you want it to take before it'll send a new offer so uh you know if it's 10 seconds some people do like 10 minutes and so it allows you to have uh closet tools send out offers very quickly so that when somebody's browsing on their phone and they're like oh i like that item and then 10 seconds later they get a notification oh you can have it for 10 percent off that's super useful and you don't have to be sitting at your computer pressing buttons and stuff like that it'll just do that for you and so yeah you can specify the discount you can do a custom discount you know if you want to do 40 percent or something like that you can totally do that and then uh you could specify the shipping out here so and just like any of the other automations, you can specify whether you want to run 24 hours or in the time window. For offer to likers, you probably want it to be 24 hours. Just if you get any likes overnight, then it'll send the notification to them. The next section is follow back. And this is another one that was available in the past. It's return follows. Just the same as the other ones, you can enable it or disable it. And you spec the specify the uh, amount of time that you want between when they follow you and you follow them back. Um, the one useful thing about this feature is, and actually with all of the following features, is that it actually checks to see whether or not you're following somebody before it tries to follow. And this will really reduce the number of follow attempts that Closet Tools does, which will cut back on CAPTCHAs and things like that. Uh, so super handy, very, very good for getting new followers. Oh, okay. So here we go. Uh, so while this automation feed was running, something triggered a CAPTCHA, whether it was following, whether it was sharing. I don't actually know. And what's going to happen is Closet Tools is going to automatically solve this CAPTCHA. And then it's just going to continue right on going exactly how it was. I don't know if I have my sound on or not. So you can't hear the chimes. But anyways, so that's the useful thing about this. all of this running in the main feed is that I can bring up the CAPTCHAs. Look at that. It just solved it. Boom. Now you see the automation feed is going again. And it's just continuing right on going exactly how it was going. And I've let this feature sit for weeks and it just works. It just keeps going. So super awesome. I'm excited to get this out to you guys. Let's see. Oh, okay. So now we're at return shares, which is exactly the same as following back, except when somebody shares your items, it'll return shares. You can specify the number of items you want to share back and the delay. One useful thing about this is that it'll only return shares to somebody and it's once in a 24 hour window. So if somebody comes to your closet and shares some items, you can return shares, but then if they come back later and share more items, it won't return shares to them. And this helps with not like letting the tool spiral out of control. Cause if somebody comes to your closet and let, and shares, you know, a hundred items, you don't want to like share a hundred items of theirs back. Cause you're going to eat into your daily amount of shares. So it just cuts it back to a 24 hour window. It'll only share their items once and then it'll just keep moving on. Okay, cool. So the next section, these are new automations that were not 
previously available in closet tools. The following new closets and the share fresh closets, these are functions that were available in the lightning tab, the special functions. You could follow new closets and you could share fresh closets, but now you can do it automatically. So throughout the day, closet tools will just follow new closets and it'll share fresh closets. For the share fresh closets, it'll share one item from that fresh closet. And uh, so it just, you just specify the number that you want to do per day and you specify your runtime and it'll just do it. It'll just do it all day. And you can see uh, like this fresh closet share here, it's going to share an item from this closet in 43 seconds. And so you'll see somewhere you know, in, in the next 20 seconds or so it's going to show up. So there's a new closet follow. So yeah, it just runs and it just goes for you. And you can see too, I mean, like since I started this video, I think the notifications were at zero. I'm already at 20 notifications. So yeah, it's, it's just rocking and rolling. Okay. So the next automation is party feed sharing. So what this does is it goes to the party feed and shares other people's items to your followers. And this is super useful for generating new followers and getting other people sharing your items to their audience. Um, and this greatly expands the reach of your items. If somebody else is sharing your items to their followers, it's a lot of new people are seeing your items. And this is a really great way to, to drum up some activity, get new likes on your items, and then I'll ultimately send offers to those likers. And then you make a lot more sales. And so similarly, just like the other ones, you specify how many items you want to share per party. So it'll, you know, there's four parties in a day. So you could do 500 per party per day, and that would be 2000 shares from parties to your feed throughout the day. And, uh, yeah, so just like all the other ones, it just runs, it just works and, uh, it's really cool. All right. Last, the last two are community sharing and community following. And so what's different about these ones is you could specify the market that you want to target for sharing. So you can specify whether you want it to be women, men, kids, home, electronics, and pets, and, and you can kind of, you know, niche it down to what your closet actually is. And what this does is it just goes to those feeds, grabs the latest shared item and it'll share it. And similarly with following, it'll grab the latest item and it'll follow the person that shared that item. And just like the other ones, it, you just specify the number that you want to do per day and then let it ride. So yeah, with all of these, you can turn them on, you can turn them off and you'll see with the estimated number. So like if I estimated follows is 5,000, if I turn off community following, which was a thousand, then this should go to 4,000. So you can see how it adds up the numbers so that you can make sure that you stay within the window that you really want and closet tools will take care of the rest. So yeah, I'm super excited to release this for you guys. I know it's a little bit of a big change because a lot of people are very used to going to their closet and sharing their items. So it, it, it definitely is a pretty drastic change, but I think it's a really great change because now you can kind of just let closet tools set and it'll just run and you can kind of set it, forget it and just let it run in the background, it'll do everything. I'm also working on a few more automations uh, that will be coming that I think are gonna be really cool. So definitely stay tuned. And I think this feature is going to be killer. I think people are gonna make a ton more sales. They're gonna get a ton more followers and I'm just very excited to get it out to everybody. So hopefully this video clears some things up. Uh, I know it's a little long, so sorry about <laughs> sorry about taking a long time. It's there's a lot of a lot of new things going on. So uh, hopefully, yeah, hopefully this clears things up and and lets you get up and running, and so that you can make a ton more sales. So thanks for tuning in, thanks for stopping by, and thanks for checking out Closet Tools. And I hope that you can use it to make lots more sales, make lots more money, and save a ton of time on Poshmark. So thank you.